so we're going to be learning about adding and subtracting negative decimals. Basically it works exactly like adding and subtracting integers. So I'm going to start you off by thinking in terms of what these numbers would be like if we were to estimate them. So I'm going to first of all change this to addition because we don't work with subtraction anymore. So negative 41.89 plus negative 0 0.9706 uh, shows us that we're adding two negatives. So let's do some rounding and estimate what this should be close to. So what we're going to do is think about 41.89. We're, we're going to round to the nearest hole or to the ones place. Would that round to 42 or would it stay 41? In other words, is this number 41.89, is it closer to 41? or to 42. It's closer to 42. So we're going to round that to negative 42. And then the next number, is it closer to 1 or 0? It's closer to 1, so we're going to add negative 1 there. So our estimate is negative 43, therefore our answer should be close to negative 43. Think about the process here when we add two negatives. We add them and we keep the sign. But we do the arithmetic 42 plus 1 just like we normally would whether there were negatives there or not. The negatives just tell us add the numbers and keep the sign of negative because we're adding negatives to more negatives. So we're going to do the same process here. When we add decimals, we want to make sure we line up our decimals and that forces us to line up the same decimal places on top of each other. Now you can think of this as a negative plus a negative, or you could just ignore the fact that we have negatives there for right now, because we're just going to add the numbers like normal. You need to make sure that you put in placeholders anywhere you're lining your decimals up and you don't have any numbers. That'll be super important when we get to subtraction. So 0 plus 6 is 6, 0 plus 0 is 0, 9 plus 7 is 16, carry the 1, 9 and 9 is 18, carry the 1, 1 and 1 is 2, now, this is where we have to worry about our signs. We have negatives plus negatives, which gives us more negatives. Notice that our answer is very close to negative 43, which was our estimate. So we're going to move on now to the next problem. Here we're adding a negative and a positive. Well, we know that when we add a negative and a positive, we're adding different signs. So that means we have to do what operation? We actually have to subtract. Now we don't change it to subtraction. It's just that when we add different signs, they cancel each other. So what we end up doing is subtraction. And then we have more negatives. So that tells us that our answer is going to be what sign? It's going to be negative. Okay, so that's all we need to know from our signs. Now everything else is just normal. So first let's estimate. So if we were to round 76.3, would that be closer to 76 or 77? It's going to be closer to 76 so if we round that to the nearest hole. And then 0 0.005, is that closer to 0 or 1? It's closer to 0. So our answer should be close to negative 76. So we're going to come down and actually do the math. Now, when we line up our decimals, we always want our biggest number on top and our smaller number on the bottom because you can't take a big number from a small number. So this is really what we're doing. If you want, you can keep your negative with your 76.3 and show addition and just know that you're subtraction, subtracting. Or you can leave it as a subtraction, subtraction problem and then go back and see what sign your answer should be. Or you could just put your sign down as you start to work so you don't forget about it. Now what we need to do here is make sure that we put in zeros anywhere we need to line up our decimals and we don't have numbers. So now we're going to borrow here. That becomes a 10, which means we borrowed one from this other zero, which means we had to borrow one from that 3. 3 became a 2. This zero became a 10, but we borrowed one from it. It became a 9. And so now we have all our borrowing set. So 10 minus 5 is 5, 9 minus 0 is 9, 2 minus 0 is 2, 6 minus 0 is 6, and 7 minus 0 is 7. So our answer is negative 76.295, which is very close to our answer we thought we would get of negative 76. We're going to move on to the next example.
Again, we're going to go ahead and change this to addition, negative 34.006 plus 423.91. Because we have minus a negative, that becomes plus a positive. Now, I'm going to estimate to start off with to make sure I'm on the right track. So when I estimate, I'm rounding to the nearest whole. So negative 34.006 is going to be closer to negative 34 than negative 35, so we're not going to round it up. And 423.91 is going to be closer to 424 than it is to 423. So we are going to round that 3 up to a 4. Now, when we add different signs, we actually subtract the numbers. We don't change it to subtraction. It's still an addition problem. But we're going to subtract and we're going to keep the sign of whatever we have the most. And what we have the most of here is positive. So our answer is going to be positive. All right, so the way we work with integers, so we're just going to subtract it. We're not going to worry about positives or negatives or anything. This is just a regular subtraction problem. So keep in mind that when we do our subtraction, we're not worrying about positives and negatives. We're just going to subtract as normal. So 4 minus 4 is 0. 12 minus 3 is 9 and then we get 390. Now that's our estimate. So we're going to end up with we're going to end up with 390 as our estimate. So we're going to do 423.91 minus 34.006. So keep in mind that what I'm doing here is putting my big number on top. That's super important. You can't put your big number as the second number here. That doesn't work. So I'm going to also put a 0 over the 6 to make sure that I remember to borrow. I can't just put a 6 right here. I have to actually borrow there. So when I borrow, this becomes a 10. And then this one actually goes down to a 0. So 10 minus 6 is 4, 0 minus 0 is 0, 9 minus 0 is 9. Now here we're going to have to borrow to get 13, so that's going to become a 1. 13 minus 4 is 9. I'm going to have to borrow here to make this 11, so 11 minus 3 is 8, 3 minus 0 is 3. And we had more positives than negatives, so 389.904 is going to be our final answer. Notice again, this is really close to our estimate, so we're on the right track.